All right, we are at 23 uh, applications involving uh, charged particles moving in a magnetic field. Um, these are a lot of scientific applications. Uh, let's share the uh, PowerPoint. And we start with the, uh, uh, the velocity selector. Uh, so we, again, the convention, you see the magnetic field is going into the uh, into the computer screen uh, from my perspective uh, going into the computer screen magnetic field is this way you have a positive particle um the uh so th from the the electric field you can see the there's a uh, so there's a magnetic field going this way and there's an electric field going this way you have the positive charges on the left, the negative charges on the right. So if you throw a positive particle in there, the the force, the uh, a positive particle would be rebel repelled by the positive chart positively charged plate and attracted to the negatively charged plate. But let's do the right hand rule on the uh, uh, particle from the magnetic field. You have the magnetic field going this way. You have the positive particle going this way. So you have the force going in the opposite direction as the electric field. So they, it can go through the, the as it goes through the slit, it can go through the, uh, the velocity selector um, if it's going at the right velocity. Um, so we have the force equals QE, the electric force, and plus QV, B, QV cross B. Um, so the Q, QE, you know, since it's 90 degrees, the sine of theta, a sine of 90 is one. So it's just QV, QV cross B is equal to just QVB. So we can equate those QE equals the QVB. Um, and V is equal to, uh, you know, the Q's cancel. So the velocity is equal to E divided by B, the electric field divided by the magnetic field. Uh, so that uh, the, the velocity has to be going right. If it's, if it's not going fast enough, um, it'll be, uh, it'll be uh, deflected by the electric field. If it's going just at the right um, velocity, it'll go straight through. Okay, then we have a mass spectrometer. Um, and the first part of the mass spectrometer is a velocity selector. So it goes through the velocity select selector. And when it comes out, you can see that the, um, do the right hand rule, the magnetic field is going into the uh, computer screen, the velocity is up. So as soon as it comes out, the force, since it's a positive particle, palm of the hand, the force is this way and it it's going to be deflected to the right um if it's a negative particle it would be i'm sorry it would be de deflected to the left uh, the other right uh if it's a negative particle uh it would be uh deflected to the right so um now typically uh mass spectrometers a lot of times it's just used for a single um Adam looking for the isotopes. You can look for the isotopes you know, because it's it's a mass spectrometer. So if it has more um, neutrons, it's going to be heavier. So the the more mass, it'll have a wider radius. Uh, let's go through the um, the mass divided by the uh, charge is equal to R B zero uh, uh, divided by the velocity. Whoops, went too far. And the uh, um, so and the from the previous the velocity is equal to e b, so we can use that uh, uh, velocity in the denominator. So it's b uh, divided by e. So it goes through the velocity selector, and we see that the mass divided by the charge is equal to the uh, r b zero. Uh, and uh, the velocity is B uh, over E. I mean, one over the velocity is B over E. 
So that's a mass spectrometer. You we often used in space to try to look at some of the particles that are out in space. Um, okay, uh, here is a, a device here by uh, Thompson and Jewett. So electrons are accelerated. He they use this to m measure the ratio of the electron charge to the mass of the electron. Uh, so the electrons are accelerated from the cathode. They pass through the two slips and deflected by both an electric field formed by the charge uh, deflection plates and a magnetic field directed perpendicular to the uh, electric field. The beam of electron then strikes a fluorescent screen. So first they would, they would tune it to where if you look at the straight dash line, the undeflected electron beam uh, would be there. And then when they when they uh, deflected the electron beam, they could tell the the um, the ratio of the electron charge to the mass. Um, so that's that's how they came up with the ratio of the uh, electron charge to the mass of the electron. Okay, the cyclotron. The cyclotron is used for it to accelerate particles for doing doing uh, collision experiments. Let me get to my notes. I always forget to. Uh, advance my notes, make sure I'm not making a mistake. Um, it's, it's pretty complicated. The, uh, there's a good description of it. They'll probably do a better description of it in the book than I can, uh, word of mouth. But the cyclotron here, uh, that you, you have these two D, uh, they're called Ds. You have D1, D2, and there's a, there's a gap in between, and there's an alternating, um, uh, voltage between the two and so as a particle there's a there's a, uh, a magnetic field the north pole of the mag magnet is is facing up so as this this um, particle gets as it's first entered it, it it's given a radius and the the radius is enlarged every time you you cross the gap uh, you enlarge the radius and you increase its uh, kinetic energy. Uh, so the black dash curve lines represent the path of the particle. After being accelerated, the particle exits here. So each path around, you're increasing its um, uh, kinetic energy. Uh, you're increasing the radius, you're increasing the speed, you're increasing the kinetic energy. So the period is equal to two pi times the mass divided by QB. We've seen that earlier. Uh, the velocity is QBR over M. So if you look and pay attention to that uh, QBR over M, the, because uh, that's kinetic energy is K, is equal, K equals one half MV squared. So if you, the kinetic energy can be determined by one half mv squared. That v qbr over m becomes q squared v squared r squared over um, m squared. Well, you have the one half m uh, that cancels out the m squared, so you just left with this q squared v squared r squared divided by two m. So the excel the cyclotron was a device that uh, it's it accelerates. Particles to a very high speed. Particles were used to are used to uh, uh, bombard atomic nuclei, nuclei and produce nuclear reactions of research of interest to researchers. Uh, it says hospitals use cyclotron facilities to produce radioactive substances for diagnosis, diagnostics, diagnosis and treatment. Um, okay, and I think that's uh, that's it for this section. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we're going to, that ends this section. Next, we're going to go to uh, magnetic force on a current carrying conductor.